Today I'm doing a two year review on the Harbor Freight Chicago Electric. And I usually use a Makita or uh, maybe even a Dewalt, which are 15 amp saws. So the main reason we bought this unit here is so we could run off of a smaller generator, like your smaller Harbor Freight Predator generator, the 2000, or um, even the Honda 2000, Yamaha 2000, something similar that has a 13 amp max. So this all will run off that, being only 12 amps. And I've had it for two years, and I cut all the rafters, done all this on this job today. Uh, getting ready to cut some plywood with it, or some OSB. Um, the blade that come with it, it, it don't cut really good. Of course, it's Harbor Freight. Uh, but I put a good blade on it. This is a uh, spider. Uh, use a Diablo or something like that. And this thing cuts just as good as a Makita. You can tell it don't have quite the power when you're in some real thick boards. Um, some 2 by 12s and stuff, some treated lumber. Uh, if you're cutting posts, it just don't have the oomph. But uh, so far, I'm pleased with it. Uh, I think when I bought it, I think I gave $35 for it. And it's been spot on. I mean, I cut rafters. We cut you know, joists with it, whatever. It's great for not pulling a lot of amps. about perfect and this is a fairly old blade but for framing it does really good little side by side yeah, for real money two years cutting framing I've cut a uh, solid one oak uh, rough sawn boards because I've got a sawmill so I've cut rough sawn with it uh, OSB plywood three quarter inch subfloor I mean you name it this saw has I've put I've put it to the test I don't use the laser anymore yeah I've dropped it uh, numerous times and everything still works on it surprisingly I'm really surprised this is not broke off but it hasn't it's stronger than it seems and I kind of like it too because it is a smaller amp so it is a smaller saw but it's a little lighter so if you're just cutting two by sixes all day or you've got a bunch of rafters to cut it's fairly light 